Dekat nak number ke? <laughs> Or like, ew! <laughs> no? Yeah. And then as I ran in front of them, it was like, woo! What? That's the last thing you should yeah. do. Hi guys. Hello. My name is Ads, shortened for Adato Bakar. And I support Spurs. <laughs> uh, my name is Lina, and I support Chelsea. Four or five years, I think? Five years. Yeah, five years. Since I was 15, I think. Yeah, but before that, I kind of played with my brother a little bit, but like professionally in, in school when I was 15. Um, volleyball, basketball. Yeah, I still play volleyball. Basketball a little bit, but I, can, I was kind of shit at it. So I started playing futsal. From my side, it's just like nothing. I, I could be walking, like to get my seat. I could be going to the bathroom. I could like be getting food and then somebody would just be like, I don't know what's wrong with their like mouth or some shit, right? But it just kind of happens. I don't know what's wrong with them, but it just kind of happens. Got the number? <laughs> or like, you <laughs> No? Yeah. Okay. A lot oh, of that. Oh my god, I this. hate that. <laughs> oh. It happens like everywhere, but uh, in football stadiums, yes. Um, actually, I was um, warming up, running laps, and then like we're running, and then the whole like, like outside football men's team were sitting at the bench. And then as I ran in front of them, it was like, ooh, and I was boy. Oh, and I was like, Good of course no. not. Why? That's the last thing you should yeah. do. It's like you don't even disrespect the person before you even know them. Exactly. Fortunately for me, I have been surrounded by the environment that has never told me that. My family fully supported me in this, uh, my friends as well. Yeah, I don't think I've ever experienced anyone saying like, oh, you shouldn't, or you're wasting your time. Because at the end, it's our own person. Yeah. The Malaysian culture is like, we have like very obvious um, labels or boundaries of what guys should be doing and what girls should be doing and when one gender one person from a gender like tries to cross that boundary like we like they're looked down upon hell yeah yeah hell yeah just because like okay we are physically differently we can't do anything about that but like we work just as hard and we share the same objective we have the same goal in a game so i don't get where the difference is I agree with it 100%. Because they are not even given the the stage to be promoted, to make it to like make it even big in the first place. So if you expect for a women's football while them being given like zero like what um, spotlight, then how do you expect them to be as big as the men's football? My university, they tend to like give all the budgeting and all the funding to the men's side because they feel like they have more like potential or whatever. But then when we actually show our potential, they like we've been asking and asking and asking the management to like, please give us training, please like get us like um, proper kits and everything. But then they're like, oh, uh, you got to prove yourself first. You got to prove yourself first. But how are we supposed to do that? when we're not even being given training in the first place. But then on the other side, you see them like giving, uh, like funding the boys futsal team or whatever, regardless of anything. They don't need to prove themselves. But why do we need to prove ourselves? Um, actually, <laughs> um, my university, like women's football team, got cut completely. Like we don't have a team anymore at all. Yeah, they just completely cut us. And because like some of our seniors uh, graduated, so they like we were missing a few players. But how come if the guys team are missing players, they can go out and like market it and like find players for them? Like not, you know, like mm -mm. it's so much easier on the guys. And it's not because oh, because more guys want to play. No. It's because they actually go out and advertise that they need more people on the team. But when the girls had less players, they were just like, oh, like, unfortunately, like, we, we can't continue everything we're giving you. So, we, you know, you guys are going to have to cut your team. So, that's why, basically why I stopped playing. 100%, dude. If the stage was much easier for us to jump on, 
I would definitely put 100% into that because I know I love it a lot and I, I've been playing it since school, right? But if I could do that, if the stage was that simple for me to just jump on and like try to expose myself, then I would definitely. My first inspiration on football, like to teach me anything about football was my brother. Um, my dad actually. I was living, living overseas. So like every day after school, even if we came back at different times, he would be like, um, baby, let's, let's go play football with me. So it would be just the two of us playing football. Then like he would kick the ball at me and everything. So he would teach me like how to kick, how to keep, and all that last My stream, I was living abroad in international school. They really teach you mm -hmm. to like, play sports regardless of whatever your background is. Um, my dad actually used to play a lot in high school and uni and you know, um, if he like, if he didn't have like, knee problems, he would probably still be playing. So he actually um, saw me as like the sportsman of the family. So he pushed me to try football and get into it, which I eventually did with my dad. If, if we're talking about like um, Malaysia, like women in Malaysia, I think that it's because um, there's one thing about Malaysians is that most of them are afraid to try something new or like afraid to try something that is out of their comfort zone. So what happens there is that um, they, so when they see something as a challenge, first thing that comes to mind is what are people going to think of me? Or what, what's going to be the outcome of it if I do it? So like. That's just, and that also comes ties them back to like culture because culturally, like it's not acceptable for girls to do so. But like in this modern world, like people are exposed to the outside world beyond this country, mm -hmm. which is why like I think that it just takes a little bit more to push them to actually try. And try to I think I completely agree. I mean, a lot of the people in this country are um, very much traditionalists, right? But I think. We haven't found that one person that really sees like the reason of why they need to put in that extra mile.